Welcome back, friends, to the Castor Valley News Live Show. I hope the sound is okay. It's, I sound like I've got an echo here. So if the sound's not okay with you guys, I'll, I can do some adjustments. I've got a new soundboard here that it sounds in my ears. It sounds super echoey. Ross is with us. Good evening, Ross. Ross just sent 25 stars. Thank you, Ross. Ross has sent stars 51 weeks. And again, let me know if the audio is wonky. I can I can do a, some adjustments here. Tiffany is with us. Good evening, Tiffany. Hello, Liam. Hope you're having a great night. Bob is with us. Bob just sent 50 stars. Thank you, Bob. Bob has sent stars 54 weeks. Thank you so much, Bob. Dennis is in the house. Dennis, good evening, sir. Dennis just sent 500 stars. Thank you. Dennis has sent stars 87 weeks. Dennis is the king of stars. Maggie is with us. Good evening, Maggie. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday evening. Janella, welcome to the show. Glad you can join us. Janella just sent 500 stars. Janella, pleasure seeing you Saturday. Congratulations on a wonderful fall festival. That was a blast. This is Janella's, Janella's 58th week. Thank you so much, Janella. Tiffany and Maggie just both sent, well, wait, I'm behind. Maggie just sent 100 stars. Thank you, Maggie. I am falling behind. I apologize. Maggie sent 100 stars. This is Maggie's 40th week. Thank you, Maggie. Good evening, Michael B. Glad you can join us, my friend. And Tiffany sent 200 stars. This is Tiffany's 88th week sending stars. And Tiffany is the queen of stars. Um, good evening, Kathy. Welcome to the show. Uh, can I can I do some silly stuff here? This, this soundboard has... Good evening, Jamie. Jamie, you're just in time for me to do something really silly here. This soundboard has sound effects. <laughs> that are kind of cool. Uh, Michael B. That's for you, Michael B. Uh, Castro Valley City is with us, and Castro Valley City is sharing our magazine. Welcome, Castro Valley City. Good evening, Chris. Glad you can join us. Let me scroll back, make sure I'm not missing anyone in the roll call. And oh, holy smokes. I, I'm I'm actually a little bit too nervous about uh, this new microphone setup that I didn't introduce myself. Hello, everyone. My name is Robert. This is the Castro Valley News Live Show. This is the live show we do every Tuesday night from 7 to 8, sometimes 7 to 8.30. Let me make sure I'm not missing anyone in the roll call. Let me just pause right here, right now, and make sure I'm not missing anyone in the roll call. Um, Ross. Uh, Bob says, I'm a little muffled, and I'm not sure what I can do to make that sound better. I can I can get a little bit closer to the mic and make that adjustment. However, I don't want to uh, be all poppy in the microphone here. Uh, Michael B., Oh, like a kid with a brand new toy. Handsome Don is in the house. <laughs> Handsome Don is with us. <laughs> David is with us as well. David, welcome to the show. Oh, Jan, thank you. Welcome to the show, and I appreciate uh, the support. Jan says I'm doing fine. Uh, Handsome Don is with us. Let me pause right here, right now, and again, um, introduce myself. My name is Robert. This is the Castor Valley News Live Show. We do this live show every Tuesday from 7 to 8, sometimes 7 to 8.30, depending on whether we will have a guest or not. And what the reason to get this new soundboard is 
we can actually pull audio directly from the cell phones so that we can sound crisp and clear whenever we have a guest on the show. So that is the difference. And also, I was I was very surprised when this new device came in, and it's got uh, <laughs> it's got a bunch of sound effects on it. And it's got really cool ways that you can adjust the sound, which uh, which is important when you're doing a live show. Sound is very important, and uh, more important than that is to be able to pull audio from the cell phone through the board so that you can hear my voice as equally as the person calling in. So I'm going to not going to mention any more about that, but that is the goal of this. And uh, Handsome Don, <laughs> that's for you, Handsome Don. Uh, Don says, I just want to say that Bob is a heartthrob. There you go. Um, we can also record our own sound effects. Uh, oh, there should be one with the crinkling paper at the end of the show. Uh, Michael B. has asked, asked twice what happened with my old microphone. I still have it here in a pinch. I will use it. But yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to mention. Since Janella joined us and Janella sent a ton of stars, I would like to give a, 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 a some thoughts and sentiments of gratitude to the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce for their big fall festival this past weekend. I was there Saturday morning, and I know a lot of you folks were there as well. It was oh, it, it was just it turned out great. There were tons of people there. From what I saw, there were not a lot of problems. The music was great. The food, I didn't have any. But the thing that I enjoyed most and, and continue to enjoy most about the Fall Festival, and this was the 51st annual Fall Festival, the thing that I really love about the Fall Festival is it is an opportunity to meet uh, new friends and see some of your neighbors that you haven't seen for a while. So that is one of the strongest points about the Fall Festival is it is such a great community event and it brings so many people together and it brings a lot of resources to folks that otherwise they may not be able to um, be exposed to. With that, Handsome Don. Handsome Don just sent 20 stars. Thank you, Don. And and how how ironic that we're literally just eight minutes into the new show and two people have their own sound effects. Don, thank you for the 20 stars. This is Don's 80th week sending stars. Uh, Maggie was there. She was a volunteer. Uh, the fall festival is just, like I said, just a great opportunity to meet so many folks, uh, to see people that you haven't seen for a while. Gina is with us. Thank you for the 50 stars, Gina. Appreciate your support. This is Gina's 16th week sending stars. And if you need some hair styling, go see Gina at Innovations Hair Salon on center directly next door to BJ at Pizza Express. Uh, Pizza Express, yes. Maggie, thank you for the additional 100 stars. That brings Maggie to 200 stars. Um, does Maggie have a sound effect? Um, I have applause and cheering. I have laughter. I don't want to laugh at you, Maggie. I have gunshot. That's not, definitely not appropriate. They're slapping. Not appropriate. Uh, the opening thing is a weird sound um, um, of music that is extremely annoying. There's booing, and I'm definitely not going to boo Maggie. You know what, Maggie? I'll give you applause as well. <laughs> and there's awkward. What is awkward? Crows. Um, awkward. Uh, Maggie. That's for you. Welcome to the show, Gene. Gene, you're just in time for me to explain the silliness that is happening now. I have a new soundboard here, so like any child, I am bemused 
and amazed and having so much fun with this thing. Um, we can mix the audio, we can make the microphone louder, we can make it softer. Uh, there's sound effects, there's denoising. Um, like I said, the main feature uh, that is super cool about this thing is I can have a direct line from my cell phone through the soundboard so that the next time we do have a guest on here, we can hear directly from that person. I won't be, I won't be doing this. I won't be holding the, the, my phone to the microphone. So with that said, let's get to, oh, I also wanted to, I have something here. I think I printed it out. Um, I have a message from Gary at the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce. Um, I must have left it somewhere else, but I, I can paraphrase. Uh, Gary Slate, who is the executive director at the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce. Uh, Jean says she likes the new addition to the show. Thank you. I was I was worried, and I, I promise I'm not going to be too silly with the sound effects. They're kind of fun, but the show should not be all wacky sound effects and stuff. Getting back to the fall festival information that I wanted to share with you. Uh, Kathy, welcome to the show. Thank you for the 100 stars. And this is Kathy's 71st week sending stars. Thank you so much, Kathy. Appreciate your support. Kathy, you're just in time. I am going to uh, give a message from Gary Slate, who is the executive director of the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce. He was short and sweet and very, very to the point. He just wants to thank the Castro Valley community and all the folks that came to the Fall Festival this weekend. Um, everybody who came out and supported and volunteered and invested their time made the event a really great and enjoyable thing for the community to come out and and enjoy so gary janella todd and all the other folks who participated and like i said volunteered and made the fall festival the 51st annual fall festival this past weekend uh thank you so much it was it was it i had a blast seeing so many business owners lots of uh local officials lots of people that i don't see on the regular I got to see at the fall festival and I really had a great time and um, um, pro tip go check out uh, the prize booth and those Castor Valley stickers they are fun Micaiah thank you for the 200 stars this is Micaiah's uh, 41st week sending stars and I would be remiss in my duties not letting you know that you need to go check out Micaiah's shop, that is Restore and Rework on San Carlos Avenue. If you're looking for antiques, one-of-a-kind gifts, go see Micaiah. She is super nice, and her shop is amazing. Jen, thank you for the 100 stars, and I need to let you guys know about Jen Jajanes and her amazing business, which is Jen's Cupcakes and Parties. All you gotta do is Google Jen's Cupcakes and Parties, and you will find her great business and, um, buy yourself some sweets from Jen. She's also a great person who does a lot of stuff behind the scenes to make our community even better than it is already. Uh, this is Jen's second week sending stars. Thank you so much, Jen. Um, Michael B. is saying, am I ready for a phone call from Mr. Holiday? I am not, but we should definitely arrange a time where you can call in. We can talk. Let's do that soon. Uh, Janella says, thank you, Micaiah. Thank you for helping us shut the festival down. I don't think too many people are aware of the sheer amount of work that it requires to make the fall festival happen. It takes a lot of volunteers, a lot of people to shut down the boulevard. It takes quite a bit of money to shut down the boulevard. From what I understand, I think it's like seven grand. And that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, Janella says it takes a village. There you go. You said, thank you, Janella. I was, I was trying to paraphrase and stumble and stammered upon my own words like I normally do. And, uh, thank you, Janella for, for saving me in, in that one. But it takes a ton of work to make the fall festival happen. Um, Janella says we didn't get out of there until 9 PM. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, that sounds accurate. 
many, many moons ago, many, many moons ago, when I was with the forum, I did help um, Roberta Reve and um, Wendy Ledbetter um, do some of the, the fall festival, <laughs> putting it together and arranging, and I volunteered a couple years. Um, it takes a ton of work to, to make an event like the fall festival and i gotta say you know gary janella todd again all the volunteers all the people who participated all the people who had booths it was it really was it was a great fall festival um just really quick here let me see if i can do this because I have to hold this new microphone. It doesn't have a stand. I just shared a link for you to check out. We do have a, um, darn it, where's my note about that? There it is. We do have a new bi-weekly newsletter that I want you guys to know about. Uh, good evening, Mark H. Welcome to the show. Mark H. is with us. Mark H. deserves some applause. Mark H. That's for you, my friend. Welcome to the show. Mark H., you're just in time. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to share a little bit of information. We have a bi-weekly newsletter that we just launched, and I just shared the link for that. I will share that one more time for you if, in case you're... Oops, what did I do? Uh-oh. Okay, never mind. Okay, got that. Just bear with me. There you go. In the comments right there, there is the link to our bi-weekly newsletter. Uh, this does not cost you anything. We will not sell your information to um, Elon Musk for his... <laughs> we will not sell your information to anyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a... I couldn't refuse. Uh, but uh, bi-weekly, we will have a newsletter with uh, a recap of things that are happening locally. We will also have a monthly raffle that will include cash or uh, gifts, coupons, uh, potentially merchandise and other fun stuff from local businesses. Um, it is free. Again, we will not be sharing your information with um, Meta, Facebook, X, or um, Instagram, or TikTok, or, or, or MySpace. Remember that? We will not sell your information to LiveJournal. Who remembers that? Um, we will keep your information private. It is free to sign up. And again, um, you will be eligible for the monthly raffle, which will uh, include local gift certificates, coupons, merchandise, and other fun stuff from local businesses. It will also be a recap of local events, happenings, and other cool stuff. It will be your first level of warning for when we do have a new magazine, like this handsome one right here, uh, since we're talking about the magazine. Gina says, everyone loves the new magazine at the salon. Many folks recognize and support Jen's cupcakes on the front page. Great stuff. Thank you, Gina. And also, if you're looking for a haircut, I just had one shortly ago. <laughs> I was a straight razor. Go see Gina at Innovations Hair Salon on Center. While we're talking about the magazine, I'm going to try to do this. Oh, this is going to be rough. I'm going to do this with one hand and no jokes about that. I want to thank the sponsors for our most, in our most current magazine. There is Maggie Castillo Jaima. She is your local reverse mortgage specialist. Thank you to Direct Sales Floors on Castro Valley Boulevard. If you're looking to get your kitchen remodeled you need new carpet you need new window coverings go see direct sales carpet one two nine seven three castro valley boulevard i am turning the pages to thank pete's ace hardware on castro valley boulevard one of castro valley's longest running businesses uh pete's ace hardware is 95 years young go see their staff and i want to take a moment here and pause and i want to thank linda at Pete's Ace Hardware uh, for continually supporting uh, Castro Valley News and The Valley Magazine. Hey, if you have real estate needs, please go talk to Leslie Peterson with the Leslie Peterson team. Also on Center Street in Castro Valley, their address is 19633 Center Street. They are two doors down from 
Vortman Jewelers directly across the street from True Value Hardware. Thank you so much, Leslie Peterson team, for being a stalwart supporter of the Valley Magazine and Castor Valley News. Thank you so much to Chef Sunthi and Teresa and all of the staff at Dampa Filipino Food on Castor Valley Boulevard who are 13 years old last month. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to pause here and just say at Castor Valley we have a myriad of wonderful business owners and Chef Sunthi at Dampa Filipi- Filipino Food is he's just a sweetheart. He's always a pleasure to talk to whenever I'm bringing in magazines or I'm coming in to talk to him and say hello. I I I just I I I love Chef Santi. He's a sweetheart. So please, congratulations to um Dampa Filipino Food. 13 years young. I think that was last month, but and also if you're at a if you're in a quandary looking for good food in Castor Valley, and we've talked about this a lot of times. There's people who feel that Castor Valley doesn't have good restaurants. Uh, Dampa is one of the finest restaurants here in Castor Valley. Thank you so much to Roland, Mike, and all of the great folks at Castor Valley Sanitary District. Castor Valley Sanitary District has supported Castor Valley News and the Valley for a very long time. David says Dampa is so good. Highly recommend the tofu curry. Absolutely. Great people too. Just they're just sweet people. Last but not least, thank you so much to Christy Pichot Real Estate Team. Uh, they are located at 5075 Hop Yard Road in Pleasanton. And you're saying, hey, wait a minute, that's not Castor Valley. Uh, Christy lives in town here. Christy lives in Castor Valley. Um, and she handles luxury homes, ranches, and land real estate. 510-909-4286. Christy Pichot also has supported Castor Valley News and the Valley Magazine for years, for a very long time. Thank you so much, Christy Pichot, for your support. Uh, what else did I want to do? Okay, we did that. This. Every episode, there is an actual list of, of things that I would like to discuss during the show. If there are things that you feel like we should be talking about, please post them up in the comments and we'll get to them expeditiously. There are, of course, we're going to be talking about um, the carjacking situation here in Castor Valley. We're also going to be talking about um, the Castor Valley High School band director um, that was charged by the district attorney for some inappropriate um, activity. We will also have, um, I have one scam to talk about in a little bit, but first, Moderator, uh, Don says, uh, handsome Don, handsome Don. <laughs> Those things never get tired. <laughs> they will soon. If I were to do them every two minutes, can I just share with you? A, 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 I'll give you a little confession here. When I first set up this soundboard a couple days ago, I was literally sitting here doing all the sound effects repeatedly. So I'm actually kind of tired of them. Uh, I'm used to them. I'm, I'm acclimated to with, to them. So, um, yeah, let's talk about, uh, let's do a scam here. Let's get directly to a scam. And, oh yes, absolutely. Um, one bad Apple records has cruise night t-shirts. Handsome Don has them. Uh, there's two great reasons to shop music. And I did have information regarding uh, Don's um, location. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Geographically, if you know where Pete's Ace Hardware is, just look across the street and you will see Handsome Don. 
Handsome Don's shop directly across the street from Pete's Ace Hardware. It's called One Bad Apple Records. And uh, Don has cruise night shirts on sale. All you got to do is pop in and he'll give you the lowdown on the prices. They are quality shirts. They're, they're super comfy. I gave Don one and I, I have a couple myself. They're, they're really cool. You don't have to buy them, but if you want to, that's cool too. If you want to support cruise night, another fun thing about the fall festival was Cron two came out and, and gave the wonderful 51st. There's one wonderful Cron uh, no, it was Channel 2, KTVU, Fox 2, uh, gave the Fall Festival some great coverage and did a story about the Fall Festival, and there was someone wearing a cruise night shirt in the, in the footage. It, it, it made me happy. So uh, every episode, we discuss scams, and usually these are scams that I receive, and this is uh, an email that I received um, on August 25th not too long ago, but this is an email received from what's the email address here? P U F L O W S E L T A at mail dot R U. So this is likely an anonymous one, but anyways, um, this one was an email with a, uh, a PDF attachment, which most of these are these, these phony baloney, um, Invoices. This one says, hello, uh, Castro Valley television at gmail.com. Do check out the purchase receipt at 609-344. Thanks a lot. So that's your first indicator that these things are scams. Thanks a lot. So this was an alleged uh, Bitcoin purchase that I made on August 25th. Uh, the purchase price, $673.92. So normally uh, these folks are trying to get you to respond to them. And more times than not, they will say, uh, what credit card did you make this purchase for? Actually, here you go. It says PayPal. So uh, there is a 1-8-H. 77 number here it says if you have any concerns about the data privacy policy associated with this transaction please contact our help desk for more information uh then there's the disclaimer um sounds pretty legit their disclaimer uh, sounds pretty legit but normally what these folks are doing by sending you these um these invoices is they want you to call their number and they'll say oh you made this purchase through paypal um, why don't you give us your password so we can check for you when normally all you got to do is just look into your PayPal yourself and check and see if there was a purchase for $673.92. And if there wasn't, you know, this is a scam. If there was, then you need to talk to PayPal directly and see what you can do. If you didn't make the purchase for bitcoins, um, you'll probably have to file a fraud claim through PayPal. I've had to do that before. And it's a simple process. Good evening, Katie. Welcome to the show. Katie, we're talking about scams. Uh, Katie. <laughs> Katie, welcome back to the show. Katie just sent 50 stars. Katie, since you're just joining us, uh, I did get a new soundboard for the show and it has sound effects and I'm trying to not be a bad preschooler by doing them every two minutes. <laughs> but Katie just sent 50 stars. Katie has sent stars 31 weeks. Thank you, Katie. Appreciate your support. Since we're talking about social media and all that other good stuff, we're talking about Meta, Facebook, X, and um uh, Elon Musk listening to our conversations. If you click right here, there's an icon that says send stars. It's a cool thing that um, Meta Facebook has set up where you can send stars through buying them and you send them to your favorite live content creator on Facebook. You don't have to send them, but if you'd want to, the icon is right here. It's all, It would it'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. You don't have to send stars, but if you wanted to, it's, it's totally appreciated. I do see the invoices from the stars. It is money that comes to us. And again, if you want to send some monetary love to Castro Valley News, it's greatly appreciated. If you don't want to do it, 
That's all good too. We love you just the same. Uh, moderator says Meta gets one cent a star. We get ninety nine cents. So there could not be anything involving money that Meta wouldn't go. Thank you. So it's one cent for uh, per star that Meta gets because Meta's got bills to pay too uh, with all their um, things that you're, they're going through. Um, Mom is okay. Mom's at home. Mom just got new internet service and it worked for most of the day and now it's down. So um, I just want to let you guys know in case you're wondering, mom is not watching, but um, she's wishing she was watching because she got new internet at her house and it's it's uh, not working out for her at this point right now. Uh, let's talk about... Um, yeah, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this whole thing with the, um, well, I'll just read to you what we shared earlier. Um, Keita Hasegawa, he's 31 years old. He is, uh, uh, was or is, I'm not sure his employment uh, disposition right now. Uh, he was the Castro Valley High Band Director. He was charged by the Alameda County District Attorney's Office with seven felony, seven felony counts of lewd acts and sexual assault of a 15-year-old girl he first met when he was her band teacher at Creekside Middle School. Um, let me give you some background on this. This is a story. Everyone's saying, hi, mom. Hi, mom. I love you. I should text her right now uh, and let her know everyone's saying hello to her and they love her. Uh, she's not watching. She's not listening, but she's at home. And I'm going to, I'm going to use the auto dictate thing here. Hey mom, Jean and Don say hello and everybody loves you and I love you too. All right. I just texted mom, wanted to spread the love. Uh, yes, there you go. Uh, Bob says today is September 12th, 2023, but getting back to this here. Uh, so this is something that we actually first reported in May. Cali Life, hey, welcome to the show. Cali Life. <laughs> welcome back, Cali Life. Cali Life, we are talking about the 31-year-old um, Castro Valley High Band director that um, has been charged by the Alameda County District Attorney Office with seven felony counts of lewd acts and sexual assault of a 15-year-old girl he first met when he was her band teacher at Creekside Middle. Uh, this is a story we covered, uh, we actually broke in May. Uh, there was a Castro Valley Unified School District meeting and there were a number of parents and students that spoke up in regards to this issue. Uh, during the meeting, uh, during the meeting, two parents criticized the district for handling the matter poorly, alleging the district did not forward evidence provided by students to law enforcement, and they also claimed the district administration ordered campus leadership not cooperate with law enforcement. Another parent claimed additional complaints were filed with the Castro Valley Unified School District, the Cas California Commission on Teacher Credentialing, in a, and the Alameda County Board of Education. There was also a petition that circulated to remove this individual uh, that received, uh, at the time, 230, 230 student signatures. I received a call uh, in regards to this, and apparently this individual was not arrested as of maybe an hour ago. There was, uh, it seems like this information reached the media prematurely, but those charges are not going to be, um, those charges are going to go forward. And this individual will, at some point in the near future, be arrested. I, uh, what, what do I want to say about this? Um, the the allegations from the teachers, uh, I'm, I'm I'm sorry, the allegations from the parents in regards to the information not being forwarded to law enforcement d doesn't seem. Um, like it was a great idea for that to happen. And I, I, I don't want to go any further in that because I don't, I don't want to bad talk the school district. 
I do want to commend the students and the parents for um, being brave in speaking out during that May meeting. Uh, Mom, <laughs> Mom just texted. She said hello. She loves me. I love you too, Mom. Uh, but I do want to, again, commend the parents and students for um, their courage during that meeting because it does take a lot of courage to appear during a public meeting and say things that are of a sensitive nature and could potentially be damaging to this individual. And uh, these students were organized in wanting the school district to know about this issue and act on it. And um, that, that can be a difficult thing when you're a, a child and you're dealing with serious issues like uh, inappropriate behavior, alleged in, inappropriate behavior from, from a teacher. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. The, uh, the story is on the page. Uh, the Mercury News did something about it. Uh, Henry K. Lee broke this story at about 1230-ish. I think he's got a contact with the district attorney's office and he got the information out there first. So um, kudos to the teachers and the students. Um, I think there were there was a teacher that spoke during that meeting, um, but there were a lot of students and some parents. Uh, there were I wanted to mention there were a couple of students who spoke in defense of the teacher, so I wanted to make sure I mentioned that as well. Um, we should talk about um, the carjacking that happened in Castor Valley on Sunday. It was about 8:45 p.m. Uh, deputies responded to Crestfield Circle in Castor Valley for a reported carjacking. A uh, victim who is a minor told Sheriff's Dispatch he was seated in his newer model BMW when three males approached him. One suspect brandished a black firearm and demanded the vehicle. In fear of his safety, the victim exited the vehicle and uh, all three suspects entered it, uh, the vehicle and fled. Uh, the sheriff's office uh, located the BMW near 105th Avenue and Eads Avenue in the city of Oakland. Deputies apprented, uh, attempted to conduct a high-risk traffic stop. The driver failed to stop. The uh, driver fleed, fled the scene on 105th. So uh, the good thing here is deputies pursued the suspects for about five minutes and terminated the pursuit for public safety, allowed the suspects to continue once Oakland Police Department could assist with air support. This is one of the great things that's happening in law enforcement. And I want to let you know, I've actually been in the car um, with CHP and sheriffs during uh, high-speed pursuits. And it's, it, it's, it's something, uh, it, it's, it's a balance. Uh, where the officers are trying to apprehend criminals, but they still want to balance public safety and not proceed in these high-speed pursuits. They can be very risky and very dangerous to officers and uh, the public as well. So uh, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The availability and access to air support in these pursuits are really instrumental in arresting and locating these suspects. And in this case, uh, air support from Oakland police were instrumental and uh, the deputies located all three suspects after they abandoned the BMW and attempted to flee on foot. Three suspects and a fourth related suspect were found on 50th Avenue near Bancroft and taken into custody. Um, during a search of the area, Alameda County Sheriff's Office canine officers located a black 9mm Smith & Wesson handgun wrapped in a sweatshirt hidden under a vehicle where the suspects were detained. Uh, this weapon was reported 
stolen out of the city of Oakland. Uh, last paragraph here. Uh, deputies booked a 18-year-old Angel Aguilar Lopez of Oakland into the Santa Rita jail on multiple charges. The other three suspects, uh, Oakland residents, were juveniles, one with priors for carjacking and robbery. They were booked at the Juvenile Justice Center for multiple charges. Um, that you guys need to know about. Um, I have a list here that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, crime prevention tips, preventing carjacking. I'll just hit the highlights here. Um, a lot of crimes are crimes of opportunity. I think the most important thing that you can do that that is um, preventive, it, pre preventative in nature, uh, the ship was sinking with my pronunciation of that word, preventative is be aware, keep your head on a swivel is what law enforcement calls it. Um, very, uh, a very good tip for you, um, just in general, is keeping your head up, keeping your eyes on your surrounding. Oh, these gestures are just wild. Uh, keeping your head up, keeping your eyes on your surroundings. If you're looking down at your cell phone, for example, you don't know what's going on around you. So if you have your head up, and you're paying attention to your surroundings, that's a very good thing for you to do to, um, um, you can't prevent carjackings because if someone's gonna want to carjack you, they're gonna do what they wanna do. But it's just a very good mo uh, MO to keep your head up and your eyes. Uh, there you go, Ross. <laughs> Ross. Ross said to keep your head out of your apps. Uh, so here you go. Um, do, 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 do. These came from uh, Dallas police. Uh, let's see. Gas station and gas stations and car washes are often the venue for carjacking. Vehicle operators are distracted, attending to their vehicle and easily surprised by criminals. We had one attempted carjacking here on Lake Chabot Road at a gas station. Um, what you can do to help prevent from being a victim, parking. Park your vehicle in a well-lit lit area, area, clearly visible to the public. An attended, an attended parking lot is ideal as criminals hate having witnesses. Let's see, I should have stapled these side to side, but I didn't. Lesson learned. Uh, entering your vehicle, have your keys in your hand ready to enter, keep your eyes moving and your head on a swivel, know your surroundings, trust your instincts. If you feel something is wrong, turn around and leave the area. Once you reach your vehicle, unlock, quickly enter, then relock the doors. Get your vehicle moving as soon as you can. Be wary of people near your vehicle asking for directions or asking for money to help with gas. Or, uh, or other possible distractions. They may be working with a partner who may, who may attempt to take your keys and your vehicle. Uh, here's a good one. Welcome to the show, Classy Canine Wiggle Rumps. Glad you can join us. Um, Classy Canine Wiggle Rumps. We're giving some pointers here uh, to be safe in the situation of a carjacking. Um, drive your car in the center lane of a street away from curbs and sidewalks. Um, when stopping in traffic at a stop sign or stop signal, make sure you have room in front of you to maneuver and escape if necessary. Um, keep your cell phone in your pocket. If your vehicle is stolen, you will have a way of contacting 911. If your cell phone is left inside the vehicle, uh, you could be stranded without a way to call for help. Um, the other side of that is if your cell phone is in the car, um, you can do the find my iPhone thing and potentially your car could be found that way. So it's kind of a, uh, a two-way thing on there. Here you go. Uh, keep your head on a swivel and your eyes moving. Be aware, of, be aware of your surroundings. Often if a criminal senses that a victim has observed them or made them, they'll look for an easier victim. Um, if you are a victim of a carjacking, cooperate with the suspect. Give them what they want and don't argue. Make a mental note of the suspect's description, their vehicle description, if they have one, and report to 911 as soon as possible. Your safety and your life are more important than your car. Those are great tips right there. Um, and thank you, Misty, for the 1,000 stars. Appreciate your support. There's 
that thing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Misty, for the 1,000 stars. This is Misty's uh, first time back, but Misty has sent, sent stars numerous, numerous times. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, we did that. Oops. We did scams. Misty. Misty, th thank you so much for the thousand stars. Appreciate your support. Um, what else did I want to do? We should do a giveaway. We should definitely do a giveaway. Let's do that. And we'll close the show with the giveaway. Yeah, Dennis says contest. Here we go. Um, let me try to do this with one hand. I think I can do that. Um, almost every episode, we do a giveaway. Uh, there have been less than more recently. And let me give you the phone number here. 510-331-9112 uh, is the text line for you to send uh, your guesses to. So uh, the Anytime Giveaway works as such. I have a stack of gift cards from local businesses, and there's a trivia question. The first person to perfect the first person to provide, this is for me. <laughs> boo! That's, that's the booing option. That's for me for mispronouncing um, that word. I have a stack here of gift cards, and the first person to text the correct answer to 510-331-9112 wins a gift card of their choice to one of the following businesses. We have Cafe Four. Great coffee located at Three Cross Church. More coffee, Valley Java. Go see Vince, $20 there. We have a gift certificate to Night Owl. And this card is also good at uh, Pizza the Bay and Occulto, but the card is from Night Owl. That is in uh, the Castro Valley Marketplace on the boulevard. Hey, how about $20 to the Castro Valley Natural Grocery, also located in, in the Castro Valley Marketplace. How about $20, I think this one's $25. How about $25 to Pete's Ace Hardware, located on Castro Valley Boulevard, one of Castro Valley's longest running businesses. How about $20 to the Hallmark Store in the Village Shopping Center? Another great coffee place, Cafe Rumi on Center and Higher, around the corner from Gina at Reflections Hair Salon. Um, Every time I mention this gift card, I pause to say, if you think that there's not good food in Castro Valley, check out Cafe Rumi for some delicious Mediterranean food. Try the pink chai latte. Thank me later. More coffee. I like coffee, so I, whenever I go to get coffee locally, I buy a gift card. How about $20 to Pompas on Redwood Road, directly next door to Trader Joe's? $20 to Micaiah's Fantastic Shop Restore and Rework on San Carlos Avenue. Again, this is not, uh, I'm not being paid for this. I am not a compensated actor. Sorry. $20 to Restore and Rework. This is Micaiah's shop. If you're looking for one of, one of a kind gifts, a great owner, go see Micaiah. Hey, whoa, how... How about this? We've got $20 to Jen's Cupcakes and Parties. Great stuff. Thank you so much, Jen, for your time in the interview for you to be on page one. Great story. Uh, Jen started off doing bakery things for schools, and her mom got her um, cottage bakery license so you can bake in your kitchen at home and now jen is she's she's doing business hand over fist in castro valley so thank you jen also we have twenty dollars to elevate home decor on somerset 
directly across from Al's Market. We also have $20 to European Market and Catering, one of Castrovalli's best kept secrets on Redwood Road. So if you're on Redwood Road, all you got to do is hit that driveway where Liquor King is, go to the back of that driveway, and you will find European Market and Catering. And they have a really really good deli counter and all sorts of wonderful European food items. Hey, handsome Don shop, one bad apple records. Shout out to handsome Don and one bad apple records. You've got $20 to one bad apple records on Castro Valley Boulevard. I, I'm, I, we're, we're getting to the last of them here. Uh, we have a unlimited I'm sorry, we have one month of unlimited yoga at Castro Valley Yoga located on Castro Valley Boulevard, locally owned business. We have $20 to Daily Dose. Vegan vibes, plant-based items and supplements. Uh, Daily Dose used to have a shop in the Adobe Center. They do all of their business online. Just look up Daily Dose Castro Valley and you will find all the cool stuff that they have to sell. They also deliver free to all addresses in Castro Valley. How about $20 to Crossroads Specialty Foods? This is the new-ish um, international market located at Castro, East Castro Valley Boulevard and Center. Uh, it's where um, Privogal's books used to be. Go see Dave at Crossroads Specialty Foods. He has almost 5,000 items from around the world. Uh, so many locations, I can't count them, and I'm not going to try to mention them all because there's a lot. And David, the owner, is just a really knowledgeable and awesome guy. Also, last but not least, least we have a pet spa day from Classy Canine Wiggle Rumps. Shout out to Misty and her staff at Classy Canine Wiggle Rumps. I'm 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 not yet tired of the sound effects, but I'm guessing that some of you probably are already. So those are the businesses um, that have gift cards in the offering for the for uh, the winner of tonight's Anytime Giveaway. And it looks like we're going to be right on time to end the show with the giveaway. So let me give you the phone number one more time. It's 510-331-9112. The first person to text the correct answer wins a gift card of their choice. So here you go. Here's the question. While it does not have much square footage, it's got a lot of charm. Where is the smallest blue house in Castro Valley? 510-331-9112. Christian is in the house. Welcome to the show, Christian. Christian says the restaurant walk in Castro Valley 2023 is set for 9-26-2023. Christian, send me that info and I will share it on the page and mention it more times. Christian, glad you can join us. Christian's just in time for uh, the end of the show giveaway tonight. Um, Ross is the winner. Golfland is the location of um, the smallest blue house in Castro Valley. Let me give you the uh, question and the answer. Um, it does not have much square footage, but it has a lot of charm. The smallest blue house in Castro Valley is at Golfland. Congratulations, Ross. Let me know uh, the gift card that you wish to acquire. And I'll make sure you get that in your hands. So, friends, that has been um, episode 228. I do have one more thing. Oh, wise choice. Ross says he wants crossroads. Wise choice. I will make sure you get that, Ross. Um, what did else did I? I had something else I wanted to mention. Did I throw that sheet? Did I drop it? Hold on. Let me grab this. Sorry, I dropped this. Too many sheets of information to discuss. The last thing I wanted to bring to your attention, and we posted um, we posted this information on the page. Uh, there's been some confusion in regards to uh, the LAFCO study. And the LAFCO study is um, the initial feasibility analysis in regards to um, potential 
incorporation, cityhood of Castor Valley and the unincorporated areas. There's been um, some information going around, some assertions that if you do not respond in protest of the LAFCO study, that cityhood will happen immediately. And that is not going to happen. Uh, I received two messages this morning in regards to this topic right here. And let me read you um, a message from Rachel Jones. She is the executive director from LAFCO. We posted this earlier in the day. In the, day. Uh, the draft report on the Castor Valley and surrounding unincorporated communities initial feasibility analysis is a preliminary report. Alameda LAFCO has not received an incorporation application. We cannot submit an incorporation application and there is currently no vote on incorporation regarding these affected territories. Please note that if we received any poten potential incorporation proposal, is it would be placed on the ballot for voter approval at the next available general election if less than 50% of registered voter voters residing in the incorporation area submit written protest to LAFCO. This was also stated at the Castor Valley Municipal Advisory Committee meeting held on August 28th. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. Um, if you don't say you don't, if you... <laughs> uh, Katie is asking, why did LAFCO even do that study? So odd. Um, my understanding is Supervisor Nate Miley requested that a number of years ago. Um, and there were people in the community as well who requested the study. So um, here's the thing. If you don't email in protest of the study, it does not mean that Castro Valley is going to be a city automatically and that was um what some people understood from that hey thank you guys for your patience and uh thank you guys for making uh episode 228 awesome uh katie is asking which community that would be castor valley there were some people in castor valley who were interested in hearing more information about the feasibility uh, or non-feasibility um for Castor Valley to become a city. And to be honest with you, this is going to be a very, very long road. If, if this actually does go to the ballot, it's going to be a very long and interesting and hotly debated road. Uh, Rob is in the house. Welcome to the show, Rob. Rob, this is for you. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah. Hey, uh, while we close out the show, thank you to everyone who sent stars. Thank you to Ross. Thank you to Bob. Thank you to Dennis. Thank you, Janella. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Tiffany. Hi, Liam. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Gina. Thanks to Kathy. Thank you to Micaiah. Thank you to Jen. Thank you to Katie. Thank you to Misty. And holy smokes, Misty sent a thousand stars. Thank you, Misty. And I need to absolutely remind you that Dennis is the king of stars and Tiffany is the queen of stars. Dennis has sent stars 87 weeks. Tiffany has sent stars 88 weeks. David, good night to you as well. Thank you guys for your patience with all the sound effects. And I hope uh, the audio during the show was good. Seems like this board's working pretty well. And uh, we will see you next Tuesday, 7 to 8 p.m. for episode 229. As always, if you're after getting all the honey, you don't go killing all the bees. Christian, thank you. I'm looking forward to the restaurant walk information. And um, be good to each other. Thanks, guys. Take care.